Hello, beautiful people. Good morning. Well, we had a bit of a problem last night and it is still a problem this morning. So first, mom's car, but mom's car's battery actually got drained. We don't know what was the reason behind it. Maybe there's a light that was being turned on all night. But so what we did is I actually have jumper cables in my car. I purchased it before because it happened to me while mom and I are doing grocery shopping in the city. So I put my car last night. I think you guys have seen a few clips from the video yesterday. Um, that I drove the car very close to mom's car because apparently they've actually parked it front forward So it was hard since the cables are very short and then Atan just did an extension for the jumper cables that I do have so that it will reach from my car to mom's car and then after a few minutes we can already see the dashboard that's been turned on so I think there was a bit of like um battery already that was being transferred but it took super long since we used an extension wire that was very very thin and small and yeah so yeah like after 30 minutes i believe um the dashboard has been turned on so the car was turned on so that was already good now after that um mom's partner actually parked the car reverse this time so i don't know what happened but unfortunately now the problem is um the car key is stuck in the ignition so mom knocked the door at like 10 p.m i was getting ready to sleep and then she said that they cannot remove the car key so i tried doing it myself I just wiggled, I mean, wiggled the gear. I tried like steering the wheel. Maybe it's alignment for the wheels. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know anything about cars, okay? I'm just like trying my luck. And then that didn't happen. I tried calling Robbie and he said, try to remove the negative in the battery. So we did that and wait for like a few minutes. I tried turning it on, turning it off, but still it's stuck. So <sighs> it was so chaotic i probably slept last night like 1 a.m because we were trying to figure it out a lot um i drove the car just here around the countryside at 11 12 midnight just to see maybe it's gonna go back to normal and reset the settings and whatnot uh, we removed the battery and put it back um we did quite a lot to diagnose the problem but up until today it's still not being fixed so i'm gonna try my luck now let's see if we can do something about it we're gonna go out guys and i've actually asked mom to park the car here um close to my house so i can see it um robbie just sent me a few instructions to try and yeah we shall see we are here okay so all right this is mom's car now and I'm gonna show you how it is. Um, so as you guys can see right here, um, see, like I can turn on the car and like that. And then if I turn it off, like no matter how hard I try to remove the key, it's just stuck. So um, yeah, <laughs> this is the problem guys. They've actually took the car to a mechanic uh, this morning and then mom said that they will have to wait for a schedule because the mechanic said that he has to remove this thing right here and then i think he needs to mess up with the gear because this could be the problem that's what actually robbie has told me as well to do something with the gear because i don't know <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem okay so i'm gonna try to do it myself i've watched a few videos on youtube if you guys have any idea how to do and fix this please let me know because if this will happen to me i'll cry <laughs>
All right, well, I give up. I don't know what's happening. Why can't we remove the key? I just don't understand though. There is a screen in the right, I mean in the middle, right? But I don't know why. Even if the car is turned on, it's still on. I feel like it's been connected directly to the battery and I think that was the reason why the battery was being drained. So how do we... I don't know. <laughs> why is the screen still on when the car is off? Like that's so crazy. Oh my goodness. Ugh, anyway, I don't have any breakfast yet. So let's make some food for MJ. It's a bit stressful when things like this happen and you don't know you don't have any idea what to do it's very frustrating Guys, look at this. You will have to see this. Look, Papa is there. <laughs> Papa is on his phone. Look. Oi. 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 <laughs> He's not even listening to me anymore. Pa. Ah. <laughs> I said, what? Look. He's watching. He's watching something on his phone, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, I cannot see the phone. He's just holding it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah, enjoy your phone. Guys, I just finished 
organizing my cabinet oh my goodness i'm so proud of myself i have been putting this off for how many weeks already because i'm dreading to do this one but anyway today is the hottest day in the countryside oh my goodness it's super duper hot you i don't even want to step outside so yeah we can't do anything outside i really want to share with you guys something about what's the next thing that i want to do and um yeah here um outside of the house but we'll do that later in the afternoon when the sun is not too harsh so yeah i decided to do my closet finally and since this is just gonna last for how many few days maybe or a few hours so i'm gonna share this to you how does it look okay starting with this these are all my top it looks so organized i'm so happy all right next is my dresses by the way i have let go of a lot of clothes so yeah that's pretty good right look that's all my dresses guys and here are all my um jackets sweaters and those ones the scarf and then here i decided to put all of my jug uh what's this gym clothes and my slipping attire here are all my top and here it's empty can you believe that what the fudge <laughs> oh my goodness that's really good i'm so happy this feels so fulfilling but yeah the living area is a total mess because i put everything away that i want to let go i'm not sure if i'm going to put it in yellow sabuana or i'll just give it away here around in my neighborhood but also the second bedroom is so messy as well because i still have a lot of stuff there that has been like a storage room room for me hey <sighs> it's super duper hot don't know what to do right now i'm just gonna wait for robbie's call because it's almost 2 p.m Hi, I'm here at Papa's room. I actually just lowered down the volume of the uh, radio that I got for him before. So he has finished all of the movies that sis have them loaded on his phone. So now he is out and about. <laughs> oh my gosh. So Papa is here guys. He is getting some wood for cooking, for fire look these are all the wood he got right here oh <laughs> those are really good though because those are now dry and it actually lights up very very strong oh so many actually but yeah anyway one of you guys suggested that um i should put like a concrete from my house going to this house so that every time we walk when it's raining it's not as muddy so we're actually gonna do that by tomorrow so it's going to start from here going here and then it goes here i wanted to make it a bit bigger so we're gonna have to remove some grass put it on the side and then it's gonna go all the way there where the concrete is so yeah that's gonna be our project for tomorrow guys i'm not sure how many cement um will this need probably three and then a few sand so yeah i'll just have like papa and atan work on it actually i mean I don't think that needs a lot of work. I think they should be able to finish it pretty quickly because they just have they just have to mix it and then put it all the way there. So 
yeah and then the other thing that i actually really wanted to do here around the house guys is to replace my fence so if you guys can see this is my fence right and then i've actually used bamboo from that section over there all the way going here um over there going around the house and i only use the metal in front of the house so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna replace the bamboo ones with the metal i'm gonna use um, metal this time because it's actually long lasting the bamboo obviously it's gonna die like especially this one this area as well like right here it's gone so this one's leaning it's like old already and this one as well it's not holding on as much so we're gonna do that and yeah so hopefully we can do that the day after tomorrow so that everything is already good here around the house but yeah so far this is what my front yard is guys i have here all of those little uh, colorful plants which i actually really like i'm vlogging my vlogging say hi Okay. Say hi to the vlog. I'm not your papa. <laughs> Say hi vlog. Hi vlog. <laughs> oh, papa very happy. Oh my gosh. He's on the cell phone all the time now. He just finished. Look what time. Hi. 4 p.m. I told you daddy, I'm papa now. He's on the phone all the time now. Oh my god. Daddy, daddy, where is my papa? Where is papa? <laughs> Did you clean your teeth? What do you mean clean your teeth? <laughs> I thought you were going to the dentist today. I'm going now. Oh my gosh, so you're late. What late? Oh, it's 8. 10 o'clock? Ah, uh, okay. It's 9. Mm. I did. <laughs> Let me see. Hello, guys. Where did you get this panga? This is so big. Star apple. Cheers. <laughs> there, mama's eating. Do I have a package? A pack of it. Oh, it's not mine? Hello. This is for you.
it's so pink. And if we pee, if we're gonna pee, what's the color of the pee? <laughs> pee, do you know what a pee is? Oh. What is a pee? Pee. So, when you pee, what's the color of your pee after you eat the dragon fruit? Uh, purple. Is it purple or pink? Purple. Pink. Pink. I purple. 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 Okay, give Nana this one. Okay, come back fast. Come on, you have to come back or else no more. Don't go back. Where are you going? <laughs> No more na. Bala na papa. One look. Five. Eight. Namenanya. I don't know. Ready? <laughs> Ready? Ready? I don't I don't Hello, everybody. Good evening. We just finished with our dinner. It was really good. My first proper meal for today. <laughs> anyway, this afternoon, I've actually watched a YouTube video and it was about why men should not split the bill. And it was such an intriguing, interesting topic. And I just want to share that to you guys. Well, my point of view when it comes to this is that when a guy asked me out on a date and then after food and the bill comes and he's gonna say let's split the bill or let's go 50 50 or you pay for yours and i'll pay for mine <laughs> i'd feel so embarrassed because all along i'd be thinking that this guy's wanted to have a you know romantic relationship with me and he wants to pursue me and then all of a sudden he actually it was actually not the case because he wants to split the bill i mean i don't know that's 
so crazy. I've actually not gone on a first date where I've had to pay for the bill or the guy made it like awkward that I should pay for my meal. It's so weird. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's weird, right? You're not gonna get a second date from me if you're gonna let me pay for my meal um, after you ask me out on a date in the first place. Like, seriously? I don't know. I feel like I still have this, um, you know, 90s, 80s um, pursuing the woman kind of thing, like in my feminine energy, and that the man has to be in his masculine and has to. You know, um, you have to pay for the bill at least on the first date. I'm not saying on all dates that you will guy that you guys will have, but it will give you a very good impression that you can actually provide and you like to take care. You know what I mean? Like fudge. I know there are guys out there that um, would probably do that, but that's like an ick for me to be honest. That's like a total turn off. Maybe for some girls, it's not, it's no big deal. But for me, there is no second date, okay? <laughs> you have to pay for the bill on the first date at least. So yeah, it was such a very interesting topic. You guys should watch it. It's on YouTube. But yeah, anyway, so um, the day has been so long, actually. It was super hot today and I've actually did quite a few. I mean, I was so busy sorting out my cabinet. I was so happy about that. I was able to upload a video as well. And then, yeah, um, there's gonna be some things that I need to actually fix here in the house. One of which is the one I shared you guys earlier, which is going to be the fence of the house. And then second is we're gonna make like a concrete path from here to my sister's house. And yeah, there's been a lot of fixing to do. Um, here, the balcony um, wall was actually not being rendered. So probably touch up with that as well. And then my ceiling has been cracking, guys. Um, I cannot show it to you because it's already like dark and whatnot. But yeah, um, so the connection between each plywood that we use for the um, ceiling is being shown. So yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna end this vlog right here though. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. It's just me here at home doing mundane things. I hope you guys enjoyed still though. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to smile and be happy. Bye!